Now this is very interesting. When it says the original people of Europe, first it says the ancient black people of Europe here. That's the first one. The second one is three albino children in an Asiatic family. They're giving you all the clues in the world. <laughs> look at these more look at these moors over here. Oh, the King Dynasty Army. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> West Asia indeed. How about that? Khalifa. Ooh, Asiatic with blonde hair. How about that? That's what they say the original people of Europe look like. Look. <laughs> Letitia, what you doing with my dog? Oh, what's that? Let's go over here. Quazon Bushman. He sound he he look like he look like um San Pedro. <laughs> Why <are you> Pedro? <laughs> Asiatics. Look at that. Egyptians, look. Mm -hmm. Egyptians again, original. This is just images. This this right here isn't like the law. But you know what? I mean, this is what is. When you search, this is what comes up. Later on, you got some Europeans, look a pig. Mm -hmm. Europeans, okay. But look at that right there. A Moorish coat of arms here, right? No. All right, let's see what they say about the Middle East. The original people in the Middle East. That would be great if they had, like, a picture of the prophet come up. And this was coming up. Mm. 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 Score one for Kemet again. <laughs> they getting a lot of wins in today. Now that's it says the Middle East, but we know that the Middle East is formerly one Arabia. Let's look at the original people of Arabia. <laughs> it look like they got the same European man up there like five times. Mm -hmm. Well, here goes one. They say Ethiopian Hebrew. Score one for the Israelites. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they got that European look. They can they off. They put that European man all over. It's the influence right. of media and the movies. I was hoping they would have Bactri and Beast. Not even. Oh, look at my man right here. Who he look like? He don't look like I don't know. Chief Keef or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, he mm -hmm. do look like somebody. Yeah, he does. Jimi Hendrix. And not really. Not really? Mm -mm. I don't know. So, now, we know what the original people of Arabia or Middle East or Europe or North Africa look like. So, let's go to... Okay. Uh, let's do that. Let's go to. We already know there's no black in the dictionary. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Negro. Because when you look up Negro, it's going to say a black man anyway. So whether you call yourself black or not, 
or a Negro or not. You don't have to call yourself a Negro because Negro means black man. Negro. The word Negro means a black man, one descended from the African race, and does not commonly include a mulatto, Felix versus State. But the laws of the different states are not in uniform in this respect, some including in the description Negro, one who has one eighth or more of African blood. Term Negro means necessarily person of color, but not every person of color is Negro. So, not, not necessarily because you're of color, you're a Negro, but what do they mean by color? Do they mean melanin? Is that what they mean? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. Let's see what they meant by color. Color, an appearance, semblance, or simulacrum, as distinguished from that which is real, a prima facie or apparent right. Hence, a deceptive appearance, a plausible assumed exterior, concealing a lack of reality, a disguise or a pretext. It says on the bottom, a term of the ancient rhetoricians. There's only one who who was ancient. Mm -hmm. A term of the ancient Moors <laughs> and early adopted <laughs> into the language of pleading. It was an apparent prima facie right in the meaning of the rule that pleadings and confession and avoidance should give color was that they should confess the matter adversely alleged to such an extent at least as to admit some apparent right in the opposite party, which required to be encountered and avoided by this allegation of new matter. Color was either expressed, i.e., inserted in the pleading or implied, which is naturally inherent in the structure of the pleading. It said, apparent or prima facie right in the meaning of the rule that pleadings in confession and avoidance should give color was that they should confess the matter or adversely alleged to such an extent at least as to admit some apparent right in the opposite party. So there was some type of right that that colored man got his head busted open. He had an apparent right. It was there. It was the color of the situation. Aww. The word also means the dark color of the skin showing the presence of Negro blood. And hence, it is equivalent to African descent or parentage. Johnson versus Board of Education of Wilson County. So the word also means the dark color of the skin showing the presence of Negro blood. <clears throat> but not every person of color was a Negro. So what kind of complexion would you need to have to show that you were of Negro blood? Darker complexion. Let's look up. You said white race, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Earlier? Let's look to see white race. Because if we're going to be talking about ourselves and other people, we need to know what we're... What these words mean? What is a white person? Mm -hmm. I mean, sure, white means purity. Purity means God. But I don't think legally that's what it means. And maybe it does. Maybe white man means, you know, that you own property, that you have some land that you own, that you're a lord in your own right. Mm -hmm. Wow, that lady is mad nosy. Oh, I'm mad nosy. Mm -mm. White persons. 
As used in Revised Statutes, United States 2169, Naturalization Act, March 26, 1790, Statute 103, as amended by Act, February 18, 1875, members of the white or Caucasian race as distinct from the black, red, yellow, and brown races. That means that a free white person and a white person have two distinct definitions. Does that mean that not every white person is free? Oh, well. Well, the applicant for United States citizenship is a white person eligible for citizenship. Under statute, enumerating classes of people eligible, therefore, depends not upon ethnological classification of group to which he belongs, but upon whether members of such group with characteristics existing in 1790, when statute was first enacted, were intended by Congress to be classified as white persons. In Ray Ahmed Hassan an Asiatic. Mm. And statute uses the words white persons as meaning primarily the European peoples who constituted the class from which virtually all of immigration in the United States has come and who readily become assimilated into our civilization. In Ray Ahmed Hassan. The term excludes a Hindu, <laughs> a Mongolian, mm. a native-born Filipino, mm. a native of Afghanistan, an Arab, Enre Ahmed Hassan. It has been held to include a Syrian. But remember, Syrians weren't before. But a Syrian who was born in Persia or had been populated in Persia. So a Syrian could still be included. And an Armenian. In the legislation of the slave period, Persons without admixture of colored blood, whatever the actual complexion might be. Mm. Mm. Persons without the admixture of colored blood, whatever the actual complexion might be. In South Africa, it's a person of European descent. Now, white race, within meaning of the Mississippi Constitution of 1890, subsection 207, providing that there shall be separate schools for the white and colored races, the Caucasian race, the term colored races being used in contradistinction to the white race and embracing all other races. That's about it. It's telling you who the white person is. Oh, it's telling you who it's not. Really, first, we not talk about a Hindu. Why not a Hindu? I mean, it doesn't matter why not, but we know that the Hindus were renamed Indians. Yeah. <laughs> huh? I was just going to say, isn't Hinduism a religion anyways? Nah, Hinduism is the practice of being a Hindu. Oh, okay. Just like Islamism is the practice of being a Muslim. But the Hindustani Empire was a people who um, exercised a portion of nationality because of the body politic being Hindustan, although the um, true blood of the people were ancient Canaanite and Moabite, which are people of Moorish descent today.